The biotechnology underpinning Immunocore is based on the science of founder Dr. Bent Jacobson. His work in the 1990s led to an initial spin-out, Avidex. In 2008, Immunocore was created with Avidex's intellectual property and many of the original scientific team. Today we see many um, articles in the paper we hear on the radio that um, immune oncology is the new way of treating cancers. In very simple word, the basics is that we've managed to uh, develop a molecule that can target cancer cells and can redirect people's own immune system to attack the tumour and destroy it. So our IMTAX, which is our small therapeutic, is based on a bispecific reagent where one end of the molecule is a very uh, potent T-cell receptor that we have engineered to have a very, very high affinity on the tumour antigen on the, on the cancer cell. So on this movie, the green cells are normal cells and the red cells are um, cancer cells. So as the movie plays on, you'll see that the IMTAC will recruit the little uh, T cells that are in blue and will attack the cancer cells, but they will leave the normal cells completely untouched. So it shows how the, the IMTAC can really recognize specifically the cancer cells. So I joined two years ago, and we were just over 50 people then, and we are about 150 today. Um, we've had an explosion of growth, and of course with that comes um, certain challenges. The smaller you are, the more dynamic you can be, the more reactive you can be. So we're really trying as much as we can to retain that, uh, despite the fact that we're growing so much. We are establishing a larger development group as we enter into the clinical trials with more impacts. And also we need people that are able to commercialize our drug. So one day we will recruit salespeople that can commercialize the impacts. The biotechnology sector is booming in the UK. In 2014, the sector consisted of an estimated 1,000 companies, generating turnover of £4.8 billion and employing 23,000 people. So one thing that is important when you're in a growing biotech company is to ensure that you have the appropriate funding to carry out the research. Going forward, it is likely that we will also um, raise further funding from other types of investors that may be um, professional investors, institutional investors or even strategic investors that would invest and support the company. We have established already four partnerships with 11 of the top pharma companies in the world, AstraZeneca and Genentech, GlaxoSmithKline and Lilly. For us it's important to be uh, building a premier biotech in the UK and uh, we would like to one day lead the immune oncology field and we believe we have the opportunity to do so.